Hi everyone, uh, Tim Topham here. Really cool to be with you again uh, for a really quick sneak peek at uh, something that we've been working on for well over a month now here at timtopham.com. Uh, do let me know if you can hear me, by the way. I'm using my uh, headset here, which I don't normally use for these Facebook Live videos, but uh, hopefully it's coming out okay. And as you know, that all this month we've been having a really big focus on the podcast and also on the blog with a whole lot of articles based on group teaching. It's a big move at the moment in piano pedagogy all around the world, even though I've learnt quite recently that uh, Facebook, uh, sorry, not Facebook, live group teaching has been going on for many, many years, and it actually started way back in the 70s and 80s. So this isn't really a new thing. It's just becoming really, really popular, uh, and for really good reason. And I do hope that you can check out uh, both the podcast this week and also next week. So this week is with a very special guest, Deborah Perez, who I'm very, very pleased to have been able to ask to help us create a fantastic course, which I'm going to give you a sneak peek on, for uh, my Inner Circle community uh, here at timtopham.com, all about group teaching. And it is literally, this is a definitive guide to group teaching. There is nothing like it on the web that I know about, uh, which will take you all the way through uh, the process of how you can switch over to teaching groups in your studio. Now I can see there's a few people live now. Just give me a thumbs up or a heart or something if you can hear me okay. Uh, otherwise I'm going to be talking to myself for a few minutes, which won't be as much fun for you as it would be for me. Anyway, so the course that we're releasing is called Growing a Group group teaching studio. So it's not just about converting to group, it's also about building group teaching. So maybe you're just doing some partner lessons and you would like to grow into some smaller groups. Maybe you're teaching one-on-one -on -one and you would like to try doing some partner lessons uh, or just starting the group teaching process. Wherever you're at in, in the process, uh, this course is going to be incredibly, incredibly helpful for you. And I know that because I've seen all the modules that we're putting together. Thanks, Sean, for the thumbs up there. That's awesome to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip across to my screen and share with you and just talk through quickly the modules that we've been putting together for this course. So um, over here now, hopefully you can see my screen okay. Module one is an intro to group piano, the many faces of group learning. And so the point of this one is to really discuss uh, the different types of group teaching because there's not one size that fits all. Yes, you can have a whole classroom full of keyboards and eight kids, 12 kids, whatever it is, uh, working at, um, at their pianos, but that not, isn't necessarily the only way to do it. So there are actually, I mean, and these are just the main ones really. So you've got master classes, you've got off bench classes, ensemble classes, partner lessons, preschool music classes, which are often already taught in groups. And then moving up to what they do in schools, which is often a slightly a larger group of people, but often with headphones on, so it's, a, it's an, again a different kind of model, to what we would call a modern piano class, which is a really open way of playing, generally headphones off the whole time, lots of group playing and interaction, uh, and that is the, the type of format that most people are building their studios on now. Into module two, we're talking about a typical class. Obviously, the, the benefits of, of that, but also some of those things about um, helping teachers stay and play together, um, how to create ensembles, what Deborah here calls the piano band, um, how to use technology in your groups, and the impact on the teacher. You know, it's a lot harder to teach a group of uh, a whole classroom of kids if you've never done it before than it is just to do one on one. So it does take planning, and we're going to talk about lesson planning in just a minute. One of the things that I really love about the course that we've been able to do too, onto module three, the process of converting, and this has been something that we've talked a lot about on the blog and the podcast. We're going to be doing a whole webinar on it this time next week, so next Thursday night USA, next Friday morning here in Australia. Uh, we're talking specifically about the converting. So we'll cover some of the aspects and types of group teaching, but then on to how to find the students how do we embrace the diversity of groups because that's always uh, going to be an issue. Uh, what do you do with teenagers because a lot of people think that group piano is really just for really little kids. Um, it's definitely not and in fact Deborah has just about uh, more teenagers in her classes than um, younger kids. So that, we're going to talk about that as well. Um, and then the actual process of the converting. When do you speak to parents? What kind of things do you say? Uh, all of that great stuff. 
Module 4 is about filling, uh, filling classes and actually finding students different goals, um, what ages you should be working about, what about tuition, how much should you charge, where are places that you can find students, um, what, you know, what are you going to be saying about uh, guidelines and policies, about practice and all these kind of things, and tips for creating schedules, because that can be really hard if you've never done that before. On to Module 5, Group Teaching Tips and Techniques. So these are actually things to do in your lessons. So we've now gone from the kind of admin and organising to the actual pedagogy. What are you going to actually be doing in these classes? And we can talk uh, about the difference between sitting at the piano and guiding students and, and walking around the classroom, team play, echo play, relay play, so passing things around the room, um, and ensemble play. And the great thing is that you don't have to buy necessarily a whole lot of new resources to be able to do this because with some tricks that we'll be giving you, you can create and convert any piece of music that you would normally teach into a group work ensemble. In Module 6, lesson planning. Crucial, 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 particularly for classes. You cannot wing classes, just as uh, I remember when I was in classrooms at schools, you would never think to go into a classroom without preparing. It's the same here. You might get away with it in one-on-one -on -one lessons, but in classrooms or group teaching, you really must have a lesson plan. So uh, Deborah talks about her here, do, see and then label philosophy, which is great, and then the four P's of presenting new material. So we'll go into that as well. So they're the six key modules. There's also a seventh one, which is more of a wrap-up, which we'll be doing together, and uh, I know that everyone is going to be really blown away by the content uh, of this course. Uh, as I say, I'm really, really excited to be releasing it. It's going to be coming out at the end of this month, and... The link on the top of the screen up here, where is it, this side? Yep, <laughs> timtopham.com slash training is where you need to go right now to save your seat for the live training that we're doing. It's a webinar all about the process of this converting to group teaching situation that a lot of people are finding themselves in right now. We're going to be covering a whole lot of ground in the normal sort of hour-long format that uh, if you've been on one of my webinars, you'll be more than used to. So... It's, uh, as, as I say, as well as covering the actual nuts and bolts of the conversion process, some of the things you need to consider beforehand. Mindset. Group teaching is not for everyone, and that's okay. You know, don't feel like that's bad if you're not thinking about the converting. That's totally kind of fine. You can switch off now and don't worry about the webinar. It's not for you. But if there's that inkling in your head that, you know, maybe you could get some amazing benefits out of moving to a group format. Uh, maybe it'd be great for your own business, uh, fantastic for students, and maybe you've, you've, you've just got that buzz that maybe you could, you could really do this well. Then do get along to that training. You're going to learn a lot from literally one of the biggest and most experienced experts in group teaching, and that's not me, that is Deborah Perez, so that's why I've, in, I've invited her to join us. So that training, next Friday morning, uh, Australia time, Thursday night, US time. Uh, that'll be 8 p.m. I think it is Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on Thursday night next week. There will be a replay, but you'll need to sign up to be able to access a replay. So just go again to this link here, timtopham.com slash training, and you'll be able to register for that event. So please think about it, and I do hope that all the articles this month have been helpful for you. Now, of course, some of you might be watching this and going, you know what, Tim, I don't really care about group teaching. I just want to keep on teaching one-on-one. -on -one. And you know what? Totally cool. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. And for next month, we move on to our next theme. So don't feel like we're just talking group from now on uh, on my, uh, my podcast and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. It is just this month's theme. It's been really, really powerful. Next month, we're actually focusing on the ears. So oral, A-U-R-A-L, oral work, um, playing by ear, helping students be able to listen and play things that they hear. These kind of aspects of teaching that students will sometimes pick up themselves as teachers. We've often perhaps picked these things up ourselves as well, but maybe we don't have a plan of how you can actually teach these things. So some of the uh, resources that we'll be releasing next month as part of our oral uh, training kind of month will be resources to help you improve your own ears, 
because some of us eh, might need a little bit. Sorry, that that wasn't the right symbol. Might need a little bit of help with uh, improving our own. Uh, ability to hear things and play them. I understand it's not everyone's strong point and that's totally fine. That's why we're going to be helping you. And also giving you some lesson plans, some actual real lesson plan hand-holding that you can take into your studio to use with your students to help them improve their skills. Because we all know, particularly if you're in uh, America, or, sorry, if you're in uh, the United Kingdom or in Australia in particular, uh, there's a big focus on examinations, which is, is great as long as they're used in the right way. Uh, one of the components of exams is always, always oral tests, and it's sadly one of the things that is just gen- generally always ignored until the last week before an exam. And it's just so... Um, so sad that it's left to the last minute and only ever done because of it because it's going to be assessed i'd hate for this to be the kind of teaching that you do so next month is always all, all about giving you skills to make oral work uh, practical and interesting for students because if they find it interesting then they're going to be doing it if you give them a cd to listen to to sing back intervals they're maybe less likely to get particularly inspired by that so that's all next month if that sounds good then please give me a thumbs up or a heart it would be fantastic heart and that's this one isn't it <laughs> be great to hear that that's going to be of interest for you um and as i say the link up here is for this uh, next week's live webinar training event online with a replay. So if you can't make it live, that's totally cool. 8 p.m. Thursday, Eastern Time, United States, Friday morning, 10 a.m. here, uh, Eastern Melbourne, uh, Eastern Australia. It's all about converting to group teaching. I do hope you can join us. Great to see Kelly, Juanita, Rachel, uh, all with thumbs up there. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning into this. If you're watching the replay uh, and have any questions about what we'll be presenting or you have any questions that you would like us to answer when we go live next week, then please make sure you pop a uh, question underneath this. There's also a share button somewhere underneath this video. So please, if uh, if you know of other people who would value finding out about this and maybe you know they're thinking about group teaching or have been te- uh, um, talking about it, or maybe they've already started it but want to grow a bit bigger, then yeah, please share this. That would be a great help. Lastly, just before I go, tomorrow... On, uh, on Facebook. I'm going to be going live talking about this, my three keys to a comprehensive piano lesson plan. This, with all its very nice little colors and images here, is what I use and what I think about in order to create lessons that work really well and cover the basics without me feeling overwhelmed that I'm trying to do too much and without me overwhelming the students. And I'll be starting with a really um, a poignant story of how I almost lost a student by trying to fit too much in. Uh, so it's going to be a great little story to hear, and I know it will resonate with many of you. Uh, do join me live. Uh, I'm going live tomorrow morning. That's Friday morning, um, about an hour earlier than now, an hour or two earlier, about 9 a.m. I think it is uh, Friday morning, Melbourne time. That's, again, Thursday, Eastern. That's just tomorrow night uh, for you guys over in the States. So I hope you can join me for that. Uh, there's an event listed on my page if you're unsure about it. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Um, stay well. Enjoy the last few days of this week's teaching. And uh, I look forward to seeing you really, really soon. That's, uh, that's the link here Whoa, that you need. <laughs> All right. See you later, guys.